Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, I wanted to do a couple of things today. First of all, I was trying to um, do a review on these um, ROH Rawatsi um, brand that just recently came out, or at least I recently just saw this coming out in AliExpress and they're really affordable. I'm gonna make sure this time to um, find a link for you guys um, in the description box so you can um, know exactly where to order these on AliExpress because there's so many stores um, you know selling the same kind of things and but where I found it was super cheap. Um, this is a 30 mil um, a little poly gel and you know these normally run when it's 30 mils they're gonna charge you about four or five ish dollars for each pot of little um container but these i got for i want to see was like a dollar 89 i'll 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 leave the price up above um in just a minute the exact price but i wanted to test these out because i'm like for that price i mean i love having the little tubes to just squeeze out straight into the nail it's just like the easiest thing to do but this is their clear and you know everything's written in chinese so there's absolutely no way of knowing um which is which when it arrives uh, other than literally like just you know swatching them out which is what i did but i put it directly on the bottle i normally don't do this unless i don't like have any other way to um differentiate them so anyways um this is their clear this is the one i'm going to use today for this um set that i'm doing um really excited to show you guys okay this is my glow in the dark that i had previously um done i didn't do a video on this set but um i did want to give you an update on how you know you could do something like this or even any other set that you have previously it is possible to um when you're doing when you need a fill like i don't know you can see like how much it's grown out this is probably i want to say two weeks worth maybe a little bit more but i think it is about two weeks and so i'm really excited because these are uh, russian tip nail forms that i just ordered on aliexpress and I am going to try to find that link for you guys too because it's like the most affordable one that I found. And it arrived pretty fast, you know, coming from overseas, um, this company did. And what they went ahead and did is I ordered the box that came with uh, the little clip. You know, the little clip that like you can hold your nail with when you're putting these. And they sent us a free gift. These cute little, I'm going to actually use these today because I want to see, you know, they're so colorful and I love colorful nails, you know, and um, I love playing with color. And they also sent this little, these little gemstones, little rhinestones as a gift or thank you. So I thought that was really nice. So anyways, um, this is the clear that I'm using today, but I also want to show you guys real quickly the other colors they have or the ones that I ordered. There's this peach color that's really pretty, kind of like a nude that you can use when you're doing, um, you know, like a nude French kind of. And then there's this really pretty um, mocha, almost uh, kind of like a burgundy raisin plum color, but it's a very pretty and you can literally just do a set with just the color itself. It's so nice. And then I also have ordered, this is like more of a clear pink. This is kind of something that you would have kind of like, you know, here when you're doing a French. And then they do also have this like milky white color, which would be really nice with a kind of like an ombre um, French boomer set. And then there's this other really pretty like nude pink that you can also um, do French um, tip sets with. So. Those are the colors I ordered I wanted to share with you guys because I thought this was such a great find and the price is just really low I think because um, it's something like newer that not a lot of people 
have tried yet and um, that's what I always love to go for. I always love trying the underdog and just trying new things and seeing if it comes out and it comes out and then you lucked out. So let's get on with this video. So you know I'm really excited because this is pretty new. This is um they don't even have this on Amazon yet so um so what you want to do is if you're doing a fill or if you're just doing this from you know the very first time you're doing it obviously the first time you're doing it and if you just had you know your regular nails you would prep your nails like I've um, showed you guys in other videos before but if you are doing a fill it is possible to go on top of what you already have and just incorporate that into your design um, like this I already know this is my size here so let's go ahead and try with the clear okay so I'm gonna squeeze oh yeah this is the clear there's a little bit of air bubbles coming there and then I'm gonna dip my alcohol and then I'm just gonna spread this downward And what I also want to do while I'm spreading that, I want to add these little accents because I thought these were so adorable. And I thought what a great way to incorporate, um, you know, some of this. I'm sorry if I kind of came off camera for a sec there. Anyways, I just kind of dropped this into the form. I put the clear first and then I dropped some of those in. And now I'm just going to put a little more clear just to get all the way up to the top. And, you know, you can at any point, you don't have to fill the whole, um form it just depends on how long you want yours but I typically really do enjoy using them pretty long so you know that's just my personal preference but like I said with nail forms you can always just stop wherever you're comfortable um, of your length being so I'm just I don't know if you can see that but yeah um, I'm just uh, filling in there with the poly gel and we're gonna try to get you can also try squeezing some of that in there okay so now that I think we are at a good place. Hope you can see this, but I'm just going in here and I'm gently just pressing this on. Okay, so I've gently pressed this on and I'm going to cure it. Sixty seconds and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. And so I cured this actually for two minutes under the lamp, which is pretty fast because it's already, I can already feel that it's cured. Um, and I'm just going to, so you, the way you want to do this carefully you want to find your edge and you want to gently kind of lift and look at how satisfying you just pop that right off and she is all ready to go 
How cool is that? That was like so fast, guys. I mean, look, now you have a perfect straight edge. And you you know your your nail is practically I mean done I mean look at how cool is that I love the little floaty things in there okay so let's move on now this is a nail that kind of broke off but you know I made it work I mean it's fine and then you just got to find your sizes you got to make sure that that's the size that fits. Okay. So, for this one, you know, I do have a lot of space in between what needs to be filled and this. So, I'm going to go ahead and prep this a little bit. I'm going to grab my um, dehydrator. And don't worry if you don't have a specific dehydrator, it's okay to just use alcohol mixed with acetone. And that's pretty much the, the, the basis of what a dehydrator, um, the ingredients that they have for the most part. So if you have that, or you could even, I think, make it work with um, one or the other as well, but it's just better to have both if you can. So 100% acetone and for me i really want to um suggest that you use like a 90 percent alcohol or 91 percent i'm using my up and up they actually have this now in the stores um so yeah i'm gonna be right back and we're gonna finish prepping these and putting on a base coat and just like that little space so that we can have a good adhesion to last us for another two or three weeks if possible. So I'll be right back. Okay, here I am. And I do like to show you guys my process because when you're first learning, you know, you can, the more times you watch it and the more you get used to the process, um, the better it is. I know, like, even if you've already seen it, it doesn't hurt to see it again and just to be reminded of the steps. Um, here I already had filed my nails down with the e-file just to remove the previous um, design I had on top of these. Um, actually, I'm going to leave the thumb alone because I just did that recently and it's so cute with the little bow there. So I don't mind having a different... Um, a different set or different thumb to the other nails I'm okay with that and if you're not um, you can always just you know start from scratch and do them all the same okay so the one like I showed you guys before this is my Mia secret nail prep excuse me and then um, going in with Mia Secret um, Extra Bond. You just you don't need to do the whole nail. You're just doing that that new growth that's coming out. Okay. I hope you guys can see this pretty well. Okay. Like, I don't want to get too close because then it's, like, going to be kind of hard for you guys to see what I'm doing. But then I also don't want to be too far. So, I hope this is working out for you guys. Um, and you can really see this process. So, once we've done that, then now we can go in with our base coat. Yep. 
here's our base coat. So. Um, I do want to show you guys um, another day. I'll come back and do another one um, and show you guys the poly gel set that I'm getting this base coat with. Um, that's the one I have like already on my nails. These are uh, glow in the dark and they also have color to them, not your typical, you know, back when glow in the dark started, they didn't really have colors. It was just kind of like a whitish color, kind of greenish, um, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, now they have these colorful ones and they even just came out recently with um, one that is a which is actually on my thumb um it's a glow in the dark and then it's colorful and then on top of that it's a thermal changing so right now it looks kind of pink and when it gets super cold it turns to a more purple color so it was pretty cool and i'm going to share that with you guys um um in another video where I can really work with those gels because today I'm really just working with clear and kind of just showing you guys the dual forms and you know even if you don't like Russian tips um, just you can get an idea of what to expect from a dual form and how easy it is to um, use with your uh, poly gel and so the beauty of this is that once it's done you pop it off and you really don't need to I do a lot of filing because it's pretty much already done everything for you <laughs> okay so we're gonna go in so I've measured that nail and I'm gonna go in with the clear again and then I'm gonna spread it and dip my alcohol I have my little dappin dish I have another video for you guys on the Dappen Dish, how to make your own if you're kind of on a budget. Um, these I used from, uh, it was a tea light set from Dollar Tree, so, which I kind of just decorated. But so yeah, you want to um, spread this out. And you know, the more you do this, the more you'll kind of have an idea of how much you need. <laughs> you kind of just eyeball like, oh, this is about how much I need. And I know this is like what it's going to be like when it spreads. Um, okay, so we have that. And now I'm just going to drop in some of these little glittery pink hearts and colorful heart things and you can also kind of um just kind of if you shove them in it kind of creates more of a floaty effect so i like kind of shoving these around okay yeah cool okay so now that we know what that's gonna look like then we're gonna go on top of our nail that we already measured oh i almost forgot i took out the base coat and i didn't put it on <laughs> sorry okay so after i put the dehydrate dehydrator and after i put the um <clears throat> the bonder then I'm gonna put a little bit of um, of a base coat here just to make sure that it really gets in there okay okay and then I'm gonna cure this and I'll be right back all right, I'm back. That was a minute. So now I can place my next nail right on top of that and kind of press down.
and then I'm kind of just want to clean up the sides before This one I think it is going to need a press down a little bit. Okay. You really want to go back and clean up those sides because you really don't want a lot of... Um, you don't want this on your fingers. Okay, let's see how that works. I'm going to cure that in the lamp. Sixty seconds, guys. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. I'm back. I cured that for two minutes. Um. Now we just need to pop this right off. I wiggle it around a bit, and there we go. Already good. How cool is that, guys? I mean, that was so easy. Now, because I was having a little bit of issues with um, this one, I'm just gonna have to go back and file a little bit around it. So I'm just really going around hey guys I'm back um, I'm sorry I lost my footage there um, in between the last clip and um, where I'm at now and the only thing you guys didn't see was my pinky um, but I basically just did it the same way I did this one here, which was caught on video. Um, all I did was put the clear on the bottom so that you could see the color. And then put the clear on the, or actually, no, I put the white, um, opaque white on there. And then I just, um, filled it with some, you know, the little, um, heart gems. Um, that I actually got as a free gift with um, the set of nail forms and um, I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know if I told this to you earlier but I'm gonna get that link for you guys um, for sure this time and put it in the description box um, and so you know like the best place to get them a pretty good price and the shipping was pretty fast so um i totally recommend them and you know it's not a known company but i always like you know searching for new shops and you know if i if i see that their track record's pretty good i go ahead and give a gamble on them because they actually um have better prices so anyhow um enough of my rant let me show you okay so <clears throat> If you look at my nails, um, right now, since I, I am doing this as a fill on top of, you know, the nails that I already have, 
Um, all you need to do is just make sure that the apex has been brought down some because otherwise um, you're gonna you're gonna have a little bit more difficulty trying to um, put this on top of you know the existing nail and try to make a new form out of this and this is like I said just because um, I'm kind of being lazy that I don't want to like start fresh um, and because I just barely, you know, this set has, was pretty um, new. You want to make sure you get your sidewalls too. I'm sorry if you didn't see that. But um, yeah, it's just here, sidewalls. Uh, yeah, so you just got to make sure that um, that apex area, the toppest, like where the height of your nail is. You want to bring that down some because you want your form to fit on top of this. And if you, you know, have other types of nail forms and you're wondering, can I do this this way? Because I, um, I always wondered if I could literally just fill them right on top of another one, but, um, I don't think I ever really tried it before, but because this is such a, the, the uh, Russian tips have such a big height on them, I figured this would be the best one to try it on. But I'm pretty sure that you could do it with other types of forms, like say if you were trying to do like um, like the, the stiletto type nail or if you're trying to do like a ballerina French uh, coffin, um, you know, any of those other shapes, I think all you would need to do is just make sure that you <clears throat> bring that apex down and, you know, you'll be okay. And the other thing too is, you know, depending on the bottom, it, you might need to file like underneath. I'm sorry if I got out of the camera. Um, got it might need to file underneath, like you know, the the whole entire nail just to um get it even. But that's not a big of an issue. I think that you know if you do that, you'll be okay, and it really doesn't matter um what shape you might have. And, you know, you're making your product last as much as possible because, you know, you didn't go through all that just to get rid of it. <laughs> um, and, you know, it depends on, like, each person, of course, because I really don't mind, you know, having, you know, something similar to what I had previously and just with a little bit of a difference. Um... I guess if you really wanted to cover what you had before, since this is just the poly gel, you could layer like nail polish on top that would completely cover it. If you really wanted to, you could. That's another option. Um, take So I can already see that this one, this orange one is really high. So I'm gonna take that down. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, guys. Okay, so I really want to show you that you can do this all with a nail file. Like, you know, a regular nail file. Like, you wouldn't even really have to use a drill, necessarily. I mean, because I know that drills are a little more expensive. But, you know, guys, if you're... If you're spending like upwards of 60 to 80 dollars on one manicure, you could you could invest that in your your e-file, you know? Um and you can invest that in your in your lamp. Your lamp is not going to be that expensive, you know. Contrary to belief, you could find pretty decent ones on Amazon if you don't want to wait that long and order them through Alley. Um, for a pretty good price, I mean, like, maybe $25, $30, $40, you know? 
and you know that's something that will last you several years I mean I've had mine for a long time um, I don't think I've even gotten rid of any of my nail lamps I just like trying new things and I I, I don't mind you know um, seeing if 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 the timing is better or it cures faster or whatnot but um you know you wouldn't have to really necessarily do that i'm just because i i love nails so um but you know if you're if you're trying to be really economical of course you you'd be good with one one lamp for i don't know 10 years maybe 15 And of course, if you were not doing it as a, you know, you're just doing it for yourself and you're not really uh, doing a whole lot, like on a daily basis, like a salon, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that if you were doing it as a business, then you would definitely be using it a lot more and you'd probably wear it down a lot faster. But if it's just you and maybe your family members or close friends, I think you'd be okay. All right, let me just test this because, <clears throat> all right. So let's see if this is low enough. And I think I feel just a tad bit of pressure. So I think I'm gonna go a little bit lower. Um, and I've already measured out what sizes I need previously so that, you know, I can just up and go and not have to waste any time trying to look for the size that I need. Um, so, so yeah, this just takes a little bit of patience. Um, But I do want to show you what I'm doing so that, you know, you know what to do if you want to go ahead and try and attempt to do this. Um, just a, a, a friendly reminder, of course, I'm, I'm not a licensed professional, um, but I, I have been learning on YouTube um, from professionals and people that are not professional as well. Um, who are doing a really great job, so, um, you know, just putting that out there again. Okay, I think, I think, let me try this again. Oh yeah, that feels better. It doesn't feel like I'm pushing too hard to get that to feel to slip right on. Okay. And now I just want to, before I start applying uh, the poly gel, <clears throat> I want to make sure that this is low enough as well and it looks like it's good. I don't think it's going to give me issues there. And then Pinky, of course. Oh, okay. Pinky's gonna need to go down a bit too. Sorry, I kind of got out, out of view there. Let's see if that's good enough there. Oh yeah, that definitely feels 
a lot better than before. Okay. I think we are ready to continue. Um, oh, before we move on, I wanted to test something out, you know, um, <clears throat> I think, well, you see, I just got the, um, I recently purchased the Born Pretty Super Reflective Gel Polish, which is kind of like the newer kind of thing that's going on right now that everybody's uh, kind of trying out. And <clears throat> I got this on Amazon. <clears throat> it's the Born Pretty Super Reflective and it comes with six bottles. You can see those are very nice bottles. And I was wondering Let's see, this color. Okay, this is the super um, sparkly, like kind of silver one. And then this one's kind of like pinkish. Okay. And then oh, this gold is pretty. It's kind of like a goldish, kind of like beigey. I'm trying to think if I want to kind of do like a layer of um glitter on top of my nails, but I'm trying to decide if I do, what color would I? Oh, I like this is like Aurora kind of, I think I'm gonna do this one. I think this one goes best with um, what I have going here, but I wanna see. So look at the sparkles on that, I love it. I think I am going to keep that one with glitter. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and cure that. Like 60 seconds under the lamp and I'll be back. And I'll show you um, what it looks like when it's cured. Okay, we are back now. Um, we have cured that under the lamp. This is just one coat, but that is so pretty. I'm afraid if I do any more coats, it's going to cover the other stuff underneath. So I'm going to just leave it there. And then I have this other really pretty, almost like, I want to say like it throws off kind of like a bluish kind of tint to it. I'm going to go ahead and do the, just the top. I'm going to see.
Dang, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's cure that. Okay, there she is. Check it out, guys. That's cool, huh? That's so reflective. I love it. It's like little hollow specks. Yeah. Cool. So there we have the first set of nails. I'm pretty much just going to do the same on the other side. And I'll come back in a little bit and I will have done the other side because I already showed you how to do um, this side pretty much. It's all the same thing. And I'll be back at the end. Okay guys, well I'm back and I'm almost done doing the other side. Um, I did go ahead and um, decided that I, after all I really did want to put at least a little bit of um, like bling, you know, like um, little uh, jewel type gem, um, little rhinestones. This is also a gift that came with um, the set of the um, this Russian tip form. I actually got two gifts. I got the um, the little hearts and then I also got a little baggie of um, little rhinestones. So yeah, I thought that was really nice. Um, so anyways, I wanted to fill you in. Um, I literally just put, like, just a smidge, like, the tiniest little dab of clear, um, poly gel. Like, I would normally put rhinestone gel to hold my gems, but, um, it did say on the package, on the, if you go on their site, it says you can use it to adhere stone so I was like okay let's test this out um and um it did stick so it's there and I'm just gonna do a top coat um just to be like safe just because um kind of like to encapsulate that um those gems and it just like adds another layer of you know magical twist to them and also it really helps to do a top coat even though you know everything's nice and even with the forms it's always nice to have a super glossy shiny top coat to just, um, you know, bring forth those reflections, you know, especially because we did put some of that reflective glitter. It's just going to shine that much more if you put a top coat on. I mean, look at that. And you're going to see how it does, like, just bring that to life with the top coat okay thanks guys and I'll catch you on the next one hey guys I'm back and check out it glows in the dark I mean this is why I didn't want to get rid of the underneath cuz I mean that's pretty cool <laughs> Okay guys, now it's time to say goodbye.